Good morning guys. Did you like that little workout that I just showed you, my arm day? If you did, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, keep watching the video because I'm sure you're going to like it by the end because you're going to find it very useful. Now, my last video that I did, I did a, well, a couple of weeks back, three weeks back, I did a full day of eating and it got a really good response. I had a lot of comments, a lot of positive feedback, so I've decided to go through again a little full day of eating, but I wanted to add in one of my little workouts that I have been doing during the week. Now, today typically would have been a leg day, but I've had a little bit of a knee problem. Nothing too concerned about, just it's a little bit stiff, so I'd rather just swap my days around and then do legs later in the week when I feel a little bit more recovered and a bit more up here, to make me feel a bit happier. So, little arm workout today. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go for a full day of eating. And I just want to clarify a few things before we get going. Now, to lose body fat, you have to be in a calorie deficit. To gain weight, you have to be in a calorie surplus. There is not, I've been through this so many times, but I just want to clarify again before we get going. There is not one specific food group. There is not one specific macronutrient. There is not one specific food like ice cream or chocolate that is going to make you fat or gain weight. The only way you're going to gain weight is by eating in a calorie surplus, eating more calories than you are burning off. So today, you're gonna to see me eat a variety of foods, some goodness in there, and some fun stuff. Um, and I want to show you that you can do it, trust me. It's just called flexible dieting, making it your lifestyle, um, even doing stuff like eating out, you can still track your nutrition, you can just estimate calories, and it's easy done. At the end of the day, it is simple maths, a little bit of willpower not to overeat, train your absolute ass off, and it is as simple as that, eat less and move more. So today I'm gonna have chocolate, I'm gonna have some nice foods, but I'm also gonna have some goodness in there, some fruits, some salads, and some mixed vegetables. So yeah, as long as you get the goodness in, just have that balance, but track nutrition and don't overeat, you're going to lose body fat, I promise you. So we're gonna start the video, We'll start this part of the video at meal number one. Now I'm going to be eating around four times a day, putting out three main meals and one snack in between to tie me over until dinner. As you can see, my breakfast will be absolutely massive, and that is because I've fasted right up until whatever time we are now. It's actually about one o'clock, so I don't know why I said good morning. So it's about one o'clock, so I did a PT client throughout the morning, I trained. I went and did some cardio as well, and yeah, I fasted, haven't eaten a thing. Um, some people can do this, some people can't, some people can't do it because there's headaches, they just feel tired, they just can't manage it, whereas I don't know class is a skill, but I'm quite good at fasting. I can go for long periods in a day without eating. Um, but And by doing this, it allow, then allows me to save most of my, all of my calories for later in the day, which is where I crave my foods the most. I've been through this so many times in my videos, um, you're not gonna lose muscle, you're not gonna lose results if you just don't, if you just, if you skip breakfast, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not, you're not gonna lose your gains if you like. I'm just gonna break my fast later in the day. It just fits in with my lifestyle. It saves a lot of food prep as well. And if you wanna do it, go for it. If you don't wanna do it, don't do it. Just do what works best for you. Um, I'm yeah, gonna take you for my meals now and I'm gonna see you at meal number one. Right guys, so we have a meal number one. So we are gonna have a packet of oats, so simple, sultanas, raisins, cranberry, and apple. I love these. I'm gonna add some more oats with some just normal oats. I'm um, gonna need some almond breeze on that to make it. I'm gonna have some uh, sultanas in there as well because I love them. Um, I'm gonna be having some Greek yogurt, fat-free with some strawberries and some blueberries, 250 grams, 50 and 50. I'm gonna have a whole pot of Hartley's jelly actually and all that thing only equals to 36 calories and then i actually have i stole this from my parents house i'm actually going to have just two pieces of toast with some lighter butter eating white carbs won't make you fat just like my first point in the video you can eat whatever you want as long as you're in a calorie deficit you're going to lose weight um, i'm going to put all this together and then with my oats i'm also going to be adding on some sugar-free syrup um, and then I'm also gonna add in some flavor drops and I'm also gonna be 
having uh, some multivitamins. So I will show you what meal number one looks like in total. It's probably gonna take about an hour to make it. So if you're ready, three, two, one. Okay guys, so it is uh, time for, it's about 4 p.m. now, so it's gonna be time for a little mini snack just to tommy over until dinner. Now, before we do that, I just wanna say that um, in terms of my progress on this 10 week cut, I am uh, into, this is currently the second week, but on my first week, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, why not? Why not? You should do, here it is. Um, I went down, lost four pounds in the first week. Um, I know this will be a combination of water weight, body fat, hormone changes, and just my body adapting to the new way of eating. Um, another thing, don't let, don't let these things be the be all, be all or end all, because at the end of the day, you need to go through a variety of things. You, yes, you can weigh yourself, you can look in the mirror, you can see how your clothes feel. I do all of them things. So even just by doing dieting for what? I don't want to call it dieting, it's a lifestyle. Even just being in a calorie deficit for around 12, 10, 12 days, I just feel a lot better in myself. I feel I look better in the mirror. I don't feel as bloated. Uh, and the scales also are going in the right direction. So I use it as a tool, but use everything, even pictures. Just see how you feel. I can say when I take a picture for Instagram, in, in the gym for example, I look more vascular, my veins are going through, which means there's less body fat around it. Um, things like that. So yeah, don't just let the scales take over your life. Anyway, it's time to get a snack. Let's go and do it. Okay guys, for a little mini snack, I'm gonna have, these are both from Muscle Food. If you want to purchase something from the website, use the link in my description, also use my discount code, damnrainer 5 and you'll save uh, five whole pounds. Anyway, so we have some protein pork scratchings. If you love pork scratchings, these are absolutely unbelievable. We are talking, well, I've got the macros here, so it's literally like no carbs, eight grams of fat, and about 20 grams of protein. That is unbelievable. And then we have this white chocolate and the cookie dough, cookie dough fulfilled protein bar. Now, I love protein bars, and if you follow me on Instagram, like I've just mentioned, you'll know that. So, I love a protein bar, and I must have sent this out to me, and I just want to try it out with some variation into my diet. Um, so, that's going to be snack number two, and I will see you for the main dinner of the evening and probably my favorite one of my most favorite things to eat so join me then i cannot wait for this meal it is dinner time let's see what we got right guys so i'm gonna be having one of my favorite things to have this is a muscle food protein pizza it's goat cheese if you haven't had these if you haven't tried these and you simply haven't lived. So I'm gonna be having that. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more low-fat cheese on top. I'm gonna to be making up a salad, side salad to go with that, a huge side salad. I love a salad and I literally try and like make world record attempting salads every time that are like this big. Uh, we got some romaine lettuce, some cucumber, some pepper, some red onion. I'm gonna use some of this light honey and mustard dressing, which is amazing. And then I'm gonna have some light Lighter than light mayonnaise, so I can dip some of my pizza into that, and that is going to be uh, meal number well three of the day. If you want to class my snack as a meal, but yeah, the third time I'm eating today, and that's what I'm going to have. And you'll see the um, final recipe, the masterpiece, in three, two, one. We have made it the last meal of the evening. It actually feels like I've just been eating all day long and filming all day long. <laughs> but uh, that is the benefits of fasting. You do get to then eat 
a lot more food in a short period of time, which actually doesn't feel like you're in a calorie deficit whatsoever. Um, that's why I love to fast, as well as the fact that I have all my cravings in the evening. Um, so as you're gonna see now, I'm gonna be finishing off my calories for the day with something that's a little bit special. Are you ready? Sure? Of course you are. Yeah, you saw that right guys. So I am gonna finish off the evening with something that includes these Reese's Crunchy Cookie Stuffed Pieces. I have never had these. My friend got me them from New York. I am excited. I actually can't believe that is only 200 calories for the whole thing. Good stuff. Uh, then we having this is my latest new thing that I absolutely love. I love the Muscle Moose range. I um, get mine from Muscle Food, but I love the moose juices, caffeine drinks, and I also now love this Muscle Moose chocolate dessert. It is absolutely unbelievable, trust me. Making that up with some unsweetened almond milk. I'm actually gonna have two packets of this popcorn. You might have seen it in my, one of my other videos. It's 51 calories per bag, and it's just nice to just sit, relax, unwind in the evening, and have some popcorn. Who doesn't like popcorn? And then the skimmed milk is because I'm gonna be making up a cup of tea to finish the evening. 75 milliliters of skim milk in there, 26 calories. Can you drink tea? Of course you can. Um, so that is going to be the final meal of the day and you will um, see it in all its glory in three, two, one. Hey guys, just thought I'm gonna finish off the video there. I hope you enjoyed and hit the like button by the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed all of them foods I ate. If you've got any questions about them, please pop them in the comments box and I'd love to hear your thoughts on them. Um, that was my full day of eating and today one of my workout plans. So my calorie targets are 2,300 and my protein target is 180. Like I said in my last day of eating, that's all I track. I let my carbs and fats fall whatever they want throughout the day. It means my lifestyle is more balanced. It means I can enjoy certain higher fat foods if I want to one day, and then certain higher carb foods one day if I want to. And I'll just bring down the other macronutrient as long as my calories doesn't go over 2,300. And I keep up my exercise output, my six days a week in the gym, and my 30 minutes cardio post-workout, I'm gonna lose fat. It's impossible not to, it's just maths. Um, and uh, so that was my targets, and this is, so, Blah. Start again. So my target was 2,300, 180 grams of protein. Let the others fall wherever they want. This is that. And then my final outcome of the day was this. So as you can see, pretty close. Close enough. Um, I'm not going to let like 50, anything, any, no, pretty bit much. I would say anything from no calories to like 30 calorie difference either side. I'm not going to panic about too much. Um, as long as you're consistent, you're going to get results. Um, so that was a full day of eating. I am going to be weighing myself on Saturday morning. I am feeling good and I am expecting another drop in weight. And I'm sure you can see on my Instagram account if I have lost weight. Um, thanks for watching the video, guys. Remember to hit the thumbs up, give it a like, um, leave me a comment and hit the subscribe button because I'm still going to be doing weekly, weekly vlogs on different training, nutrition and... Unlike last time when I'm doing like a competition prep, I will give you a physique update. Um, I might do one halfway through this, but I'm not going to do it every single time because I'm not getting in competition leanness. Um, so in the next few weeks, I probably will do a physique update. So be sure to check that out. Uh, but for the time being, thanks for watching and I will see you soon for more Dan Rayner fitness videos.